provided a very fortunate occasion. So which plates uh, do you have on, under your hand? FEPA 2 is the one I need right now, FEPA 1 as well. I'm moving to FEPA 1. Do it there. So the uh, lid needs to be facing away from Earth. We need to remove the lid, and then later, maybe we can do a, maybe we can do a fit check right now. Turn on H four. Half turn on H four. Copy half turn torque broken on H four, and then Kayla, we're going to reset torque on H four and then H three on the PSCS. I've got PGT I'm settings. I'm going to take the PGT and do it since I'm already here. Go okay, ahead. copy that. It's the same PGT settings, alpha 6, clock 2, and you're going to start with H4. I'm on the seat of the handrail. And passing my green hook. Okay, and once you're both back inboard of the uh, Sarge, uh, you can uh, find a place to temp stow your bags. Going straight in way here. Um, and speed, I would say, like, it was already half a meter. So, and it's a little bit faster. Maybe two, three meters, so I'm going to straighten my idea. And we copy. You may have heard astronaut Raj Atari call out the MLI or multi layer insulation, not to be confused with where. Matthias Marr is headed. He is not yet at the Japanese module. Well, he'll be installing that insulation. And Raj Atari is just talking about some at his own work site. Copy, Matthias. Thanks for the words. Good motion. Continue. Good motion, continue. Pause here. Right, so we are rotating it here and turning it and rotating it folding it up. So what is the best way to fold it? Another time. Stand by. The mirror. It is illuminated. Not illuminated. Okay, now it is illuminated. So I guess uh, I'm new European robotic arm. Well, don't uh, just put your hands there, the, your arms between between the shoulders of the arm. Okay. Alec. You also can move to and a good view of uh, the end effector on uh, one of the two limbs of the arm as it is being rotated. Uh, reported uh, very smooth motion. The uh, action is completed. Next uh, to the arm is Oleg Artemiev uh, wearing the suit uh, bearing the red stripes. Extravehicular crew member number one in the midst of the fifth spacewalk in his career. Okay, wait, uh, the camera is hooked up to the uh, cover. Uh, let me release it. I will turn on the camera. 
Uh, it is it is secure, that's fine. The camera is on. Okay, we see the previous satellite and one, two, three, go. Yes, go to deploy. Off it goes. Now let's count the rotation time. Over the border between Mali and Algeria, the seventh of the ten nano satellites now in flight. This one passes close to the solar array. It's uh, behind schedule, but have made up the time as they've gone along and are just about right on uh, the timeline for the day. There's a good view of uh, Oleg Artemiev in the uh, Orlan suit with the red stripes on the left, joined by Denis Matveyev on the right. The next task uh, for the two spacewalkers will be the removal of thermal insulation from one of the two end effectors or hands on the European robotic arm. Oleg, this is Solovyov. Drop everything and start going back right away. Yes, yes. How copy? About 30 minutes ahead of the timeline, the duo is currently being seen outside the Nyoka module with the European robotic arm. They are currently installing a control panel that they removed from a different location and now are, are looking to work with Mission Control Moscow to get the control power, the control panel powered on. Do you see those? This will be an attachment to the uh, restraint of the adapter to Strela. No, we already have this done. Okay, good. And. Uh, what about restraint itself? Yeah, that, that this is the one used to be done. to be relocated on December 6th during the third Russian spacewalk in the current series. Uh, please take a break. You have been working hard enough. Uh, so take a couple of minutes to rest, uh, and then you will proceed with Robotic the... Robotic arm uh, in a uh, foot restraint, positioning him at the right uh, orientation. He will be uh, rotating a couple of uh, rollers called boom deployment system rollers, 90 degrees to a deployed position, part of the work uh, in tandem with Frank Rubio. Uh, we're on here to snap while I was trying to pull it out. And Frank, Nick, back, back with you. Um, got a caution here about the red hook location. It's going to be near an IEA radiator, so just be aware of that. The handrail you're looking for is 2217. On there. So he's going to have two of these. There's too much in there. Uh, Bag, so I'll have to put it on the subject here. That's good news. And uh, so, Josh, you're going to translate over to the Charlie 12 volt, and that's near Stanchion Alpha. One hour, 26 minutes into today's spacewalk station, just about to fly over the very southern tip of South Africa. Both spacewalkers now working in tandem to release these support beams holding the IROSA in place.
And at this point, three of the four bolts holding one of the support arms, support beams have been released. Frank Rubio working on the fourth one. Josh Cass is going to move over uh, to a different point. Secret motion. 